Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing good. So in this video, we will continue with dynamic programming and we will solve this question. It is quite a famous question actually. It is called minimum number of jumps. So basically we will be given an array of integers. So pause the video and read the problem and uh, we can read it once again together. So I hope you've read it once. So we're given an array of integers and each element in the array represents maximum number of steps that can be taken forward from that element. Maximum number of steps that can be taken forward. So towards the right only. If you are at an index i, you can go anywhere to the right of index i. Fine. Find the minimum number of jumps to reach the end of the array, starting from the first element. If an element is zero, you cannot move through that element and we should return minus one if we can't reach the end. So over here, we have to clarify certain things. So first of all, what does it mean by when they say end of the array? So end of the array means here, I'll just minimize myself. Okay, so just consider some n elements. So the starting element at index zero and ending element at index n minus one. So end of the array is when you reach n minus one index, not index n. So this is one thing, okay? That you reach end of the array means index n minus one. Fine, <coughs> excuse me. So one more thing to note that is if suppose an element is zero, then you can't go through that element. So from this element, you can't take any jump because each element of the array represents the number of steps you can go. So if an element is zero, that means you can go zero steps. It doesn't make sense, right? That in those cases, you should return minus one. That is what the problem is saying. So let us consider an example. Suppose it is one, two, Sorry, one, three, two, zero, zero. Fine. So we are already at this index zero. So index, I'll write here index values, index zero, one, two, three, four. And this is the array values, fine. And we are over here initially. Now, see, what does one represent here? We can take one step forward, one step to the right side, fine. So we'll take one step. So we have to jump once. Now we get three. So we can take like from here to go one, two and three. So like this also it is possible. So how many steps do we need to take here to reach the end two steps? Suppose the array was this. Now suppose the array is this, okay. One more zero I've added. Can you reach the end of the array? See, from the start, you go to index one. Okay, three. Now that means you can go three places towards the right. So if you go three places, you will end up here. You can also try doing the other thing that you go to this place. From here, you go two places. But in both cases, you will end up not in the end. So in this case, you have to return minus one. So remember this case, because we will talk about this in the later part of the video, this case where we can't reach the end, fine. Now I'll make one more change. So what change I will make is, so instead of two, let this become four and another zero I will add. So now we are starting at index zero. So we can go one step. So let us take, so we had done one jump. Fine. Now we are here. Now we can go three steps. So now if we only choose three steps, we will end up somewhere here, but better option is let us jump. Let us take one jump to this place. Fine. Then we can take another jump from here successfully. Because four, nah, four steps you can take. Four steps, that means you can jump to that place. So 
you read the problem statement once again it says maximum number of steps that can be taken forward from that element so you can take one step two step three step or four step that is what it's saying so this in each and every element it represents maximum number of steps so you can take see from here you take one jump you end up at this location where the value is 4 so maximum you can take four steps you take three only and end up here you take a jump of step 3 you jump with a with you to three steps ahead like that that that's what it means so now okay how to approach this problem we have discussed what it is and all that fine so we can use dynamic programming to solve this how how do, how does dp help how to get to know dp will help us see you have to reach this location with minimum steps fine you have to reach last location with minimum steps now from where will you come to the last from from where from the left side from starting so if if you know how many steps are required to go to n minus second position or n minus third then we will be able to optimize the problem right because ultimately how many steps required to come to last index depends on how many steps required to go here go here because anything is possible if you use dp approach you will write some similar code like this actually dp approach is very simple over here what should you do just take jumps array fine and initialize each and every value to infinity which means a very high value and it it means it's not possible to reach basically now the only condition to check for is if at any current index that you are and if uh, r of j that means the value that is this jump value suppose over here 3 right that represents how many steps you can take so over here we need to define something called reach reach is nothing but r of i plus i which means from the ith index from position i from where to go i mean uh, how many steps i can go forward or what is my maximum reach so that will be this value so if this value is greater than where i can end up then i will consider minimum of jumps of i or 1 plus jumps of j so this is somewhat similar like that L lis problem uh, maximum sum subsequent something like that so it is looking something similar to that right and you can code the dp solution if you have already watched those videos so if you have not yet watched i think some card will be coming now so you can watch that a uh, dp solution is fine but dp solution won't work here actually because you can solve it in a better way you can just use greedy method so with greedy method you can do it in linear time see dp will take o of n square so that is why i am not talking too much on dp and already on dp many solutions are there see even in this question here n is 10 power 7 and they already expect o of n and o of 1 space so let us see what will be the greedy approach fine the greedy approach will be that we need to define something called as reach correct now what is reach going to be reach is going to be from the current index that we are at how far we can go so that is given by this value and let us also take another variable called steps which will show us how many steps are remaining to be taken how many steps are remaining to be taken and one more variable we need jumps whenever our step count becomes zero then we have to jump so we have to jump when our step count becomes zero so what happens is uh we initially let reach be equal to the first element correct and over here base case is if our first element itself is zero see if uh, instead of 1 it was zero over here we can't go ahead we can't do anything 
So if first element itself is zero, we return minus one. And if only one element is there, then we return a zero because only one element we are already at the last position. So this is these two are base cases, correct? Now what I will do, I will say, okay, fine. First of all, my reach, I I am already at index zero, correct? So my reach will be array of zero. I don't have to write array of zero plus zero. It doesn't make sense. I mean, you mean it's not needed. Then I will take steps. So how many steps I can take? Initially, I can take how many ever what is or whatever the value of array of zero is, and let me take uh, jumps variable. Fine. I will take jumps, and every time I will try to find for a better reach. So suppose if I change this example to four. See, when I am at three here. i can be at 4 also i don't have to end up at this zero i can go to 4 and then i can go here so that is why i have to keep updating my reach like this it is basically like you have got a better jump you have got a better jump value so instead of taking 3 you can take 4 you don't need 3 anymore so you can leave 3 and whenever our and we need to decrease our steps every iteration it means we have taken one step and whenever our steps becomes zero we have to increase our jump now when will we say that we can't reach the end we will say we can't reach the end when this condition is true because if at any time our maximum reachable uh, distance will become less than or equal to our current position if it becomes less than or equal to current position then we can't go further like you can take this example so you take this example fine and try to understand this case that you can't go further in any way possible so greedily only you can do it it is actually very simple so if i have to show you the code now so first of all if n is equal to 1 then only one element is there we don't have to do anything we return 0 if first element itself is 0 we can't progress ahead so minus 1 so our variables are you know reach so that will tell us how far we can go from a current point and number of steps that we can take and jumps initially jumps is one because we need at least one jump see if this condition is not true then we need to make at least one jump to reach the end fine so we start from index 1 because index 0 we are already at index 0 and we don't have to go until the last uh, index we don't have to go to index n minus 1 so we can say i less than n minus 1 only we will finally return jumps what we will do we will always record reach we will always try to find out a better reach okay and we will decrease our steps whenever steps become zero that means we now it's the time we have to jump and the invalid case that is when we can't reach the end of the array this is what happens if i is greater than or equal to our reach then we return minus 1 because we can't reach the end you can take this case you can take this example for that to understand this one and we have to decrease our steps because see whenever we have to jump we will jump with a certain value so that array value whatever we have that many number of steps are there so whatever the index we are at currently so if we are at suppose this index fine and our steps has become zero now we have to get a new step so steps will be reach minus i because our reach is telling us where we can end up so, and where we are currently is at index i so how many steps we have reach minus i 
so on the way if we get a better reach that is whenever we encounter a element of the array which gives us a better uh, reach we will take that only into account so steps has to be updated like this so greedily only you can solve this problem and you will find many uh, videos already on this and uh, i think lead code there are many problems like jump game 1 2 3 4 or something you can check that out also and speaking of lead code i am making problems on lead code also please do watch those videos and that uh, playlist will be there in the description and i'll try to solve problems which are not in this list and which are not so common and not so easy like medium to hard level only i'll solve so i hope you were able to understand this is actually easy this is very easy actually this is greedy and almost like uh not i can't say brute force but yeah it is very understandable so that's all for this video please share it with your friends if you liked it hit the like button subscribe to the channel it will really motivate me until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye